and we're back with another Dead by Daylight shoutout video where I recommend streamers, YouTubers, TikTokers of different sizes for you to watch this week. Some of these creators may be well known or the rising stars within the Dead by Daylight community. Either way, I guarantee by the end of this video, you'll have discovered someone new and entertaining. My name is Andrew, and this week I have five people that you need to watch. So hit that subscribe button somewhere over there, and let's jump in. Number one. If you ever thought what would happen if you combined Slimes and Steve Harrington from Stranger Things, then you need to watch Slimeball Steve. Steve is a PNG uh, tuber whose avatar is a slime version of Steve Harrington from Stranger Things. His emotes are on brand with his theme, and his ice cream overlay makes you feel like you walked into the ice cream parlor from the show. This dude has serious golden retriever energy. Oh, my bad. I mean, slime retriever energy. So check it. So check him out. Number two. If you love everything about hunters, then you need to watch Comfy Cheeks. Comfy Cheeks is a VTuber with a hunter's avatar. They are a P100 killer, and they have the hatchet throws to back it up. She loves a good chase, and the excitement from chat just adds to the overall vibe. She runs charity events and open lobbies with the community. I like the uniqueness of this streamer, and I think Comfy Cheeks will be one of those DBT VTuber legends, like Herman the Doctor or Entity's Left Hand, that'll be instantly recognized in the fog. So I hope this creator gets shirted. So check them out. And if they do get shirted, that'll be five people I've mentioned in these videos that've gotten shirts. I'm just saying, behavior, I'm finding some good ones. Number three. If you're a Meg main, then please stand up, because you need to watch XO Ruby Chan. Ruby is a Meg main, member of the Sisters of the Fog, Pause the Game Ambassador, YouTuber, and Veterinarian Assistant. The list goes on. Something that jumped out to me was her YouTube series, Surviving the Fog, A Meg Story, where she interviews other Meg mains and shares her experience playing Meg. Now that got me excited. Don't get me wrong, I like a good, you know, new meta build video or TTV gets mad video as much as the next guy, but the idea Ruby used is what raises the creative bar. DVD content isn't drying out. People just need to take a note from Ruby, so go check her out. Number four. If flashbangs, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and surviving with friends is the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning, then you need to watch Insane Troll. Troll's power level is over 9,000 with all the flashbangs this guy uses. He has some of the most perfect placements to get the killer stunned. He runs open lobbies and talks to the, talking to the guy, you find it pretty authentic. When they aren't streaming, this dude is a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu instructor. Imagine arm locking Trapper, that'd be crazy. He recently had a 12 hour subathon for his 3 year uh, Twitch anniversary and holy moly, his community absolutely destroyed his goals in the first 2.5 hours of the stream. Now that's some insane support. Well, go check him out, I'm not trolling you. Number 5. If you prefer watching top tier Dead by Daylight matches on YouTube, then you need to watch Dom Kills. Dom is a YouTuber and his videos consist of trying different killer survivor builds and genuine gameplay and first impressions of new creators being released. This is definitely a creator you need to keep an eye on because their content is only getting better and they plan on streaming soon and I can only imagine what that would be like. And I can only, <laughs> sorry, just about to say the same thing. So check out his channel. My final recommendation for you, and it's probably the biggest one, is to go out and dream big dreams. Catch me live on Twitch for behind the scenes content. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.